Should I just give up and move on? Hello, my name is Coach Adrian, and I am a relationship expert, someone who's dedicated their entire lives to helping individuals from all over the world find happiness and love. My specialty, my expertise, is in repairing broken relationships, helping people not only understand what went wrong, but actually put specific actions in place to make things right. And today, I wanted to talk about when is the right time to move on? Or is it even worth pursuing the person that you love so much? This is a question that I hear at least a couple of times every day. People who have the chance to engage with me in private coaching sessions always want to know if it's even worth it or if they should just move on. Is it still possible? And quite frankly, it's an awesome question because this process belongs to you. You are the only one that in the end should have a say as to if you want to pursue your former partner or if you want to look to move on for good. I am here to help you reach your goals and to tell you if it's still possible. I won't tell you to move on unless you're coming out of a toxic relationship. If I feel like you are trying to get back with someone who will ultimately not make you happy, if I feel like you're trying to get back with someone who will put you down or that will make you suffer because they may be a narcissist, then I will intervene and tell you, listen, stop, let me help you move on because it's not worth it for you. But I will never tell you to stop fighting for the love that you believe in unless I don't think that it can happen. I've helped people, I, we've worked with people personally that have gotten back with their former wives or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend after more than two years. So why would I tell you to stop fighting for someone who is the love of your life if I know that it is possible? If I know that there is a road, there is a path to get there. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I tell people to move on very often, multiple times a week when I feel like it's just not in their best interest anymore. But ultimately, most of the time, it is possible to win back the heart of the person you love most because this process is a process of personal development. Whether you were in a short-term relationship, a long-term relationship, whether your ex left you for someone else, whether you've made huge mistakes or if the meanest things were said, it's possible still to turn it all around. Because every day is a new day. Every day is another opportunity to reinvent yourself and in the process to change the way that your former partner feels about you, to change the way that they see you. Human beings have a tremendous capacity to change, to evolve, and to reinvent themselves. It's the beauty of life. It's an ever-evolving learning experience. And of course you've made mistakes, but we all make mistakes. Of course your partner is frustrated and they said the meanest things and they seem sure of themselves that they don't want to be with you because that's what a breakup is. That's what a separation entails. It entails a lack of belief in happiness in a future relationship together. And so people pull the plug based on everything that you had done previously in the relationship. If you do the right actions consistently, if you're dedicated, if you're not looking for a quick fix, and you're truly interested in building something substantial, something that can withstand the test of time, and you give yourself the time to work towards that goal, I can help you. I sincerely believe that in most cases, I can help you. So, to go back to our initial question, should you give up? Or is it still worth fighting for? Well, if you still have feelings for this person, it's worth fighting for. If you believe that you can be happy together in this relationship, it's definitely worth fighting for. As long as you still have that fight in you, you can count on me to be there for you. And together, let's transition from this hope of having a happy relationship to the achievement of being in a lifelong committed relationship with, the, with this person that you love so much. So, if you two 
have doubts, uh, leave a comment below. Explain to me why you have doubts, what's going on, and I will be sure to respond to you whenever I can. I'm quite busy, but I always try to get back to every single person that reaches out to me, even though more and more people are now seeking my advice. Like this video, fuel my fire too, because it motivates me to see all the positive reactions and impact that people have, and love that people have given me because of how much love I've given you through my YouTube channel, through my blog, through my products and audio seminars, video seminars, and private coaching sessions. I give you everything I got to the best of my abilities. And I count on you to continue to fight for the love that you believe in and to not give up until you feel like it's in your best interest too if you haven't reached your goal quite yet. I believe in you, continue to believe in yourself and let's do this. Let's get you to be with the person you love so much and let's make it happen soon. Take care and speak soon.